So when it comes to underwriting properties, it's so straightforward, but it comes with a warning. It's not to be done on deals that you would not buy yourself, because if you agree to underwrite a property and it doesn't sell, then you will be obligated to exchange contracts under auction conditions and buy that deal. However, the best way to approach an auction house company is to ask them what deals in their up and coming auction could you potentially underwrite. This will give you a list of properties where they know it could happen and then it's for you to do your due diligence to see if there's value that you can add and if the deal can make sense. If it all makes sense, then look at what you would pay for that price today outside of auction and take 10% off of that price and that's your starting price for an underwrite. The underwrite price should give you scope to bid on that property and if you were to win it, still be a good deal. The underwrite price should never be the final price that you're going to pay because it puts very, very little upside on you doing the deal.